So a plus 2% grade meets a minus 4% grade. Um, so, and again, it's, I find it helpful to sketch these just roughly to scale. If you draw a line up here and you call that 2%, this ought to be twice as steep on the other side. Again, just, I'm a visual uh, person um, in, in many ways. And so I'd like to see this uh, to, to help, again, orient uh, how I'm gonna go about solving the problem. So these two grades meet at station 21 plus 62.00, and the elevation is 439.20. It doesn't say that that's the PVI, but that is that actual point right there uh, with that information. So again, we've got to read what's in the problem statement, apply it to the problem. We got a vertical curve length of 700 feet is connecting the two grades. So we know that L is 700 feet. I divide by 100 because I'm going to put it into stations already. So that's seven stations. So we've, we've got a question. The elevation at station 21 plus 00, zero on the vertical curve is closest to. And we've got four choices here. So in all of these problems that deal with elevations in its simplest form here, everyone takes the step one solution. And that is, I need to create my parabolic equation. So you might jump down and start here at line number two. Um, and again, try to fill in um, things as you go along. So again, the generic formula, uh, G2 minus G1 over 2L times X squared plus the G1X plus the PVC elevation. And I've already said that several times, so I'm sure you're memorizing it by now. It is helpful to memorize some of this stuff, but again, we, when you know where to go to find it um, and you can get there quickly, then that's just about as good. Um, over here in the box to the right is a general formula to calculate the PVC elevation. It's the PVI minus the G1 times L over two. So the subtraction here automatically takes into account whether the G1 grade is positive or negative. So you'll notice that G2 here, the minus sign goes with the grade. That's not a, uh, a calculation, an algebraic calculation that you know I've got to do there. The minus goes with the grade, just as it would if, if G1 was downhill. Um, so this automatically takes that into account, but you can, again, just visually go from the PVI back down 2% at 350 feet and calculate the elevation at the PVC. And I've just shown the calculations to get to the PVC station uh, and the PVT station. If you need those, it's again, at subtracting L over two, adding L over two from the PVI uh, station here. But let's go ahead to the third line down. So we're just gonna substitute in uh, G2, the minus 4%, minus the G1, a positive 2%, divided by two times L, 700 feet in stations, times the X squared, plus the G1 is 2%, times X. It could be a negative, you'd put a negative uh, in here if, if G1 was negative, plus um, the calculation for the PVC elevation. And so again, just do all the math to do that and you'll come out with this basic equation down here at the bottom. So there's a couple things that are uh, important to pay attention to. The coefficient of A, you really need to keep at five decimals in order to get the sort of accuracy that you need in your calculations. Um, and then the other thing is, you'll notice that I automatically end up with a negative here and that's because this AX squared term, the tangent offset has got to come from the tangent, which is gonna be above the curve down, down to the curve. And so it automatically is a subtraction. And that's exactly what I suspect, uh, you know, thought it would be. If I've got a sag curve, this is going to end up to be a positive. Uh, so again, this is a place where if you're not getting an answer, just make sure that some of these things that um, are part of writing this basic equation are coming out to be uh, true for you. 
So this is the first part. And then the second part is the elevation uh, at station 21 plus zero, zero. So this is another thing where stationing is really established with our horizontal alignment. Uh, it's not established. The vertical alignment is just a match that goes with the horizontal alignment. So uh, you'll again, if you don't understand stationing at this point, we'll pick that up um, when we talk about horizontal uh, curvature and, and hopefully it'll be clear. But this is how we write stationing. This is like station 21 plus this number of feet and to the hundredth of a foot. And so in the English system, we measure to the hundredth of a foot. In the metric system, we measure three decimal places um, over here. But in, you know, hopefully you won't see too many metric problems, uh, particularly with vertical or horizontal curvature. Um, but again, this is the, the typical way to present it. So when you are uh, adding and subtracting stations, just drop the plus out of it and just treat this as a number, 2,100 feet minus 1,812 feet. That was the station of the PVC and that's 288 feet. So take that and divide it by 100 to get it into stations and then plug that into the parabolic equation for x. So you're gonna square that multiply it by the coefficient a plus two times the 2.88 plus our PVC elevation and we end up with 434.41. Um, and so again, you choose the closest answer depending on the accuracy that they're providing to this. Sometimes it's just to the tenth of a foot because um, again, it's everybody's math can come off a little bit different when you go to a hundred. So again, just be aware of that. And this, this question, even though it's introducing you to parabolic curves and sort of the application of that uh, parabolic equation, perfect example of a problem that is for the morning level of difficulty uh, that would be on the exam. Very straightforward vertical alignment uh, problem. And then I've got some other things. Um, you know, if you were to take a, suppose they gave you a complete data set of elevations and started to ask you questions about that. Um, you sort of look at patterns that are in those elevations. So if you have a crest curve, elevations ought to rise and come back down. If you've got a sag curve, elevations ought to go down and come back up and nothing is out of order. So maybe something's out of order and asking you a question about that. I don't know. Uh, this next bullet, the high point or the low point is always on the side of the PVI that has the flatter grade. So again, as in our problem, we had a 2% meeting a minus 4%. So the high point of this curve station wise is going to be before or to the left of the PVI. So if they ask you something about the high point of the curve um, and you calculate information about it and it is not you get a station that is not to the left of the PVI. In our example, something's wrong. And you gotta go back and, and redo that. Um, and also if you're working problems on the exam and you're not getting an answer, uh, you feel very comfortable with everything that you've done. Uh, one thing to do is, so typically, I think what people would do is they would go through their calculations again. Let me just double check that I type in everything correctly, punch in everything correctly, and here's my answer. So again, if you get the same answer, uh, then what I would do is check your equation. So in checking your equation, this is the way to do it. You can go back to your drawing right here and sort of plug in the entire length of L into your parabolic equation and you will calculate the elevation of the PVT based on the equation. Then manually go up here to the PVI and go down 4% for half your length, uh, 350 feet, 
and calculate the elevation of the PVT that way. And if you were to do that for our case, you would find that both of those produce the same value. And what that tells you is you've got a lot of confidence, like 100% confidence that you've got the correct equation. And so again, I'd look at what might you be doing that's you know, incorrect. Did you make sure that you squared the first X term? Uh, did you make sure you, that you, you know, haven't left off the negative here? Those are little things that can happen uh, pretty easily in, in the heat of battle uh, as you're there trying to work problems very rapidly. Um, but again, uh, very, very basic question uh, that, that could easily be a question for the morning part.